everyone. I look like I'm in a big mess here, don't I? Probably because I am. <laughs> I've been playing with stamps. Um, and you might say, oh, again, yes, well, that's true. Um, I, to be truthful, have never been much of a stamper. Um, I've always done my own artwork and such. However, as I've got more into art journaling and the more layered looks, I've found that stamps are a fantastic tool and not just for stamping, you know, for creating backgrounds and resists and uh, all that kind of thing. So I've got more into them and I'm building up a bit of a collection of these, of these um, cling stamps, these clear stamps now. And I'm getting to the point where I'm, you know, going, now I need that one, where is it? And I thought I needed to get organised. So being that I've decided how to get organised, I thought I would share it with you and possibly that might be useful for you as well. Um, I have been also playing with making my own stamps from my original artwork. And um, I found a way of actually creating these stamps myself out of really easy, easily found materials. And uh, I've been having a ball with them. It means that I can create just about any design that I wish of my own artwork or clip art or whatever it may be. Um, and I can also create these layered stamps where um, I stamp the face and then stamp the hair and possibly some clothing and everything. Um, however, I still need to get all this organised. So, what I have found to do, and it's not my original idea by any means, is to store my stamps in these CD containers. And... Um, you know, you may already be doing this. Apparently, it's, you know, quite a common thing for stampers to do. But I thought, what a brilliant idea. You know, it's it just keeps everything neat and tidy. Um, CDs are easy to store. I can put them into a CD box or um, a CD tower, anything like that. Um, so what I did was raid my old CD collection, which had a lot of these thicker uh, boxes and replace them with the thinner, streamlined, slimline boxes. Uh, because al although these work, um, you can only really get one layer into these and they still don't really want to close. But these thicker ones, I can get um, two layers of stamps into them and they still close really easily. So um, being that these ones are, are I found a little harder to get than the slimline ones now. Um, I thought I would um, raid my collection and, and recycle. So here I have another set and I'm going to just put some double sided tape. I use such a lot of this stuff. Actually I get it from my local recycling place believe it or not. Um, apparently 3M must be one of their donators and um, I get these rolls of tape and they're not packaged or anything but they're brilliant. And pop that in. Usually it fits really well. If it doesn't I can cut it and move them a little bit. So I have these stuck down in here now which is great. However if I close it up it's a bit confusing to see what I've got. It's not so bad that side, but that side's really confusing. So if I just take a piece of plain paper, the size of the CD box, and pop it in, then I can see easily what I've got. Beautiful! Now some of these cling stamps already come in these packages, or the ones that I've been buying have, which are sandwiched between two pieces of acetate. So I don't see any point in, in redoing those. I think they're great as they are. So all I'm going to do with these is pop them into a ring binder. It's 
So I have a ring binder here, so I'm just going to pop them into the ring binder. Beautiful. And then I can put some dividers in and label them as, you know, florals or borders or whatever, and I'll be able to find them really easily. So that's my plan for those ones. Now I also have these types of stamps. Um, and it's a bit hard to see what they actually are. So, so what I'm going to do is take my stays on ink pad and ink them up quite a few at a time, probably do to start with, and then just close this down and take my brayer and, and I have the impression on that side. So now I can see what I've got there. And what this is, is just two pieces of acetate that I cut to size and just put a piece of masking tape across the top. So it makes one of these homemade folders. So I can punch holes in this with my pun hole punch and file this in my folder as well. Another thing I discovered was when I, when I was filing these is that some of them I wasn't able to punch because the stamps are too close to the edge. And if I move the stamps, then I'm going to, um, I'm not going to be able to see properly what the designs are. So what I've done here is simply taken two pieces of masking tape and just on one edge or one side I've put a piece of masking tape this way and then a piece of masking tape that way and then I've simply punched through the masking tape so like so and then I have my little hinge here so that I can put that into my folder as well um, and the other thing that I wanted to mention, which I think I did mention briefly once before, is that I also use these CD boxes to mount my stamps. So I can just take a clear one, an unused one, and use that to mount my stamp. And that gives me good leverage and I can see through it so I can see to, to put it down. And when I've finished with it, I can clean it and pop it back into my box in its spot and we're done. So a few CDs and you're pretty organized and if you have the larger sheets the ring binders and make your own if necessary. I'm hoping it keeps me a bit more organized and um, I'll be able to um, to put my homemade stamps away in the same way so I'm thrilled about that. Okay, I shall see you next week.